All right, what's going on, everybody? Um, <clears throat> got Bella moved up here by the house so we can get some work done to her. Neighbor's dog's barking at me. Um, as you see on the porch there, got uh, those are the mirrors. So we're going to get our mirrors switched out finally. Um, sticking with this style, which is actually not what Bella came with. That was a tempor temporary situation. And uh, I got some other stuff I want to do, but I'm going to start today by emptying out these side boxes and a bunch of the other stuff. I got some some uh, stuff that's going, some, I don't know what you call it, uh, organizers. We'll just call them drawers. Uh, they're called uh, cubby buddies that are going in my side boxes. So I'm going to get the side-by-side -side out of the garage. I'm going to use it, just throw everything in it because i got to go through everything. This thing needs a spring cleaning. I haven't been able to do a, sp do a spring cleaning inside or my side boxes because it's been in the shop since March. So, or I've been doing something else that was more important. So anyway, we're going to get the side-by-side -side out, get these side boxes emptied out, and maybe even get the inside emptied out. So, better patter. Let's get at her. All right, there's what my side box looks like as of right now. As you can tell, it's been a little over a year of just throwing stuff in the side box. So, I gotta get all this stuff out of here, get it cleaned up, and I'll show you what these cubby buddies look like and we'll start getting some arrangement laid out for them. Alright guys, got that one cleaned out. It's going to have to be vacuumed out before we do anything else, but get everything in the back of the side by side. Make for a nice little toter down to the garage. Go through this and throw it in the trash in the trash cans and uh, get the rest of it ready to go back in there. Um, if you're familiar with the Pete's, they have a cable that normally holds this door. Mine broke, so uh, kind of swings open. I gotta watch, make sure it doesn't damage that paint. Well, got into it a little bit there, that might be old. But anyway, uh, that is an inverter. Uh, so I, what do they call it? The sine wave inverter. And then the wiring kit for it is right there. I'm going to get them out of there. They won't come out because of this duct work here. I'm going to have to lift up the bunk and get them out of there. But I'm going to move over to the other side. Get all that stuff thrown in here. And uh, then we'll get the cubby buddies out here and ready to go in. we got to drill some holes in the bottom of this for mounting and stuff. So um, move over and do the other side. All right, I already got some of the stuff pulled out of this side here. You can tell it's in a little bit better shape, especially the carpet, because I don't use it quite as much. But still got a bunch of stuff accumulated, a bunch of crap. Um, that's my old inverter there. And uh, I'm going to replace it with that sine wave inverter, because they're supposedly better for CB radios. So, because what an uh, inverter will tend to mess with your CB radio. It'll interfere with it. But uh, modified sine wave, sine wave. I think it's a modified sine wave. Anyway, they do not. So um, I gotta get the rest of this stuff pulled out of here. And I'm just kind of setting it here because I'm gonna transfer it to the back of the side by side. But uh, until I accumulate stuff with the plans of doing stuff with it and then never get around to it so uh, I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff pulled out of here so anyway uh, this is a cubby buddy four states has several videos on them it is a pull open drawer opens the 24 inches that it is deep and you think this one is 10 or 12 inches deep something like that this one is a duplicate of it one for 124d and then these ones should be 
the two drawer set up so I'm going to separate them because they were shipped this way they've actually been in here for probably six months or so so I'm going to separate them and open it up and I'll show you what it looks like and then we're going to go out and start getting these installed all right there's the 224 which is the two drawer setup as you can see they're shallower like that one's a two inch and I think this is a three inch drawer as you can see it comes with all the hardware you need to mount it same with this bottom one it comes with all the hardware you need to mount it um, <clears throat> these come in a base and stackable setup so this is the base and I actually have the bracket on here upside down this part of it will be mounted to the floor in the side box and then it'll mount like a CB radio does with these slots right here and the holes there's more holes there that are covered up by this thing but uh, and then this one will bolt to the top of this through holes in the bottom of it just like this one and you can stack I don't know how many of them you can stack but you can stack a bunch of them and, uh, as you can see comes with all the hardware you need like I said same way with this one comes with all the hardware you need uh, carriage bolts are for these holes right here to mount into the bottom of the side box so I'm going to take this setup out because this is going to be my driver's side setup um, think I'll be able to get all four of them in one side but I might end up doing that too we'll see once we get out there all right guys so that's the mount just set inside there um, I need to move it back forward you can really put it in here pretty much anywhere you want it I think that's right about where I'm gonna put it because it matches up nicely with that rivet line right there still gives me some room for storage here be able to get to my uh, fire extinguisher if I need to and then when they're stacked they'll be you know that high and then I still might be able to add another one we'll see once we get them in there but uh, then that'll still give me storage behind them too I'll just have to access it from the bunk from the bed which is up as a matter of fact it's on hydraulic stilts which I had to replace them you can get them from Peterbilt mine were worn out when I got this truck so I had to put new ones on it but uh, anyway I'll have to access that area from up there it's not a big deal necessarily it just you know is what it is so I'm going to throw some bolts in this slide it in there on the mount and see where we're at here got a truck going by your distributor <laughs> um <clears throat> so there i kind of got it mocked up i threw the bolts in the side um i thought it was going to take all four per side but uh they only give you four of these so i guess it only takes two so and then of course you know this is for you can hang it you can do all kinds of stuff with it you know i could put it up top obviously if this piece wasn't here and i had a place to hang it so um anyway that's it it's pretty much mocked up it works out nicely because right down there there's a rivet that keeps it from coming out and back here like i said it's going to be right along that rivet line well, you can see it if i can get the gopro right there it's going to be along the rivet line so it'll make it easy for me to mark these holes and drill them because I can just put the uh, bracket right back where it is without having to worry about trying to mark it with the, the drawer in there. But anyway, uh, you see that's how it works. Comes out of there good ways. So uh, you have access to all that drawer space. So it's not... You know, you're not, you're not digging through your side boxes. I used to be back here digging all the time trying to pull stuff out of there. So I won't have to do that anymore. That'll be nice. Um, as you can see, though, I'm not going to be able to get them side by side, which I thought that's the way that was going to be. Uh, when I ordered them, I pretty much ordered them per side, driver side, passenger side. So um, might be able to stack a third one, though. We'll see when we get it in here. But anyway, I'm going to pull this drawer back out of here. I'm going to mark these. Get the holes drilled, get the carriage bolts in, get it remounted, and then I'll be back with you. All right, guys. Got the bracket back in. <clears throat> As you can see, my carpet's a little worse for wear. I did vacuum it, but we got some rust from wet tools and stuff. But uh, anyway, 
got the bracket in they give you three of these carriage bolts two for the front one for the rear it's in the directions and uh, the directions are in there so you can see how much I used them but I did look over them briefly so uh, um, as you can see they're about that long uh, that one happened to come out it worked out okay though come out right inside that bracket but worked out I used a I got this at O'Reilly's a while back for a job I was doing speed process up not really a bad it's kind of similar to a Milwaukee I'm sure it's not nearly the quality but it was also not nearly the price so um, gonna grab that this drawer here knock the spiders off of it and as you can see got the bolts in there already so it will just go in between these brackets I had to pull this bracket out a little bit I was tweaking on it a little minute ago but because uh, when you tighten these down it pulls these outside brackets in so you may have to oh crap I got it in too far there's the beer truck coming back by we got it in too far so I'm gonna have to lift it up and set it in there to set you guys down here let's see if we can see it Now, that puts us in the second hole slot down here and in the third back there, but I suppose that can't hurt matters none. It'll kind of keep it from rolling the whole way out, maybe. Um, I guess I'm going to have to get another ratchet. I don't think my beep well will work in there. But uh, anyway, now all I have to do is tighten these down, which I can pretty much do by hand. Kind of. But anyway, I'm going to grab a, either a ratchet or a ratchet wrench, tighten that down, and then get this one mounted on top. Because I actually kind of like the fact that it's a little lower back there, because that'll kind of keep it from rolling out of there if we're on a hill somewhere which we are here it's kind of hard to tell but we're definitely on a hill here but anyway that'll give it a little incentive to slide back in if we leave it like that like I said just in the third slot down and in the second slot down out here so that'll work all right got them tightened down all it took was a a uh, shallow half inch dry or half inch socket 3H drive. I don't know if this sticker will come off of here or not, but I would like it to. And yeah. This one too. I actually just threw away a whole bunch of... Yeah, you can come out of there, bug. Threw away a whole bunch of white vinyl that would have been great for this. To vinyl this door, drawer, in front of this drawer, but... Oh well. Maybe I'll order some more. Maybe we'll just leave it stainless. Maybe I'll find somebody to polish it out for me. Get some goo gone and get the goo off of it. But Got her all tightened down there. Got them ones back there tight. Like I said, only took a, a shallow half inch socket to be able to do it. So, shuffle all of this stuff out. 16 Ton Industries. He has a bunch of bunch of stuff that they make but I got this set up from four states trucks 
Drum Shop Mafia, if you know them. Piece of tape there. And they do have a lock. I don't know if you can see it, hear it. It does lock right there. So uh, it's not just going to roll around. You can see I'm putting a, again, a big guy, putting a decent amount of pressure on it. It's not, you actually got to pull. Like I just find myself like that, putting my thumb against it. But anyway, let's get this one thrown in there. And, uh, We'll maybe start working on the other side. It might save the other side for tomorrow. But get the other one thrown on there so you can see it all put together. All right, so to do this one, I had to take this drawer out. And to do that, you just pull it the whole way out. And then push down on these tabs. Well, it's pushed down on this side and up on this side. <clears throat> this other drawer, I guess I could show you. But you put the four bolts in the top. And I suggest, because of this drawer, all you're going to get in there is a wrench. So... I pretty much finger tightened them as far as I could so that hopefully this will sit down on there which we'll just go ahead and do that now if I can do it one handed here maybe there we go you can see it back there and get set it on it settled on there and see now all I have is a couple threads to tighten up but Pull this drawer the whole way out and you see these little tabs here you pull down on them to pull that drawer out of there to be able to do that and then just take your wrench and tighten it up all right guys there you go cubby buddy installed i did go ahead and use some bug and tire remover clean up the front of that there a little bit Got this drawer put back in. Pretty easy, you just put it up there, push it in. It goes in. Of course, then you got that top drawer. I did drop it down one notch, because as you can see, it moves a little bit. It was moving a little more, and that gets it closer to the, uh, you know, bottom of the side box back there. So, um, it's at a pretty good angle going towards the truck. So, um, they do make these in singles. I could probably get another single in here, but not back here, I don't think. So, uh, probably just leave it the way it is. Maybe put my gloves on top of it. Put stuff in here alongside of it, tall stuff, what have you. Um, nice to have. Now I just got to figure out how I'm going to fill all these drawers. <laughs> what exactly I want to go where. Because, uh, um, I'm you know haven't had them so don't know what i want where in there so but anyway we're gonna do the other side all right so it's actually the next day i did finish these up last night get them in there as you can see you got a little bit of space on the back side i had originally intended on putting this side size of jug which this is 911 it's a uh, fuel additive case of an emergency if your fuel gels up but with the top set of drawers you can't get it in there so um kind of messed up there i don't know i'll just i got a couple of these tool cases here i'm gonna put back there and then <clears throat> probably put my one gallon jugs here and then whatever i can fit on top but like i said yeah we're on a hill, so they go back in pretty much on their own. Oh, and there's more literature that's got to come out. And then they lock in place. And I threw a couple zip ties in that one just because I had them laying in about here. So, anyway, there they are. What's going on, guys? Um, we are replacing the mirrors on my truck after the accident finally mirror the side mirror driver's side's been on back order so you can see i had to put a temporary one on there and i had to leave this one like this for right for until i could get a new one so um gonna go ahead and get them replaced get new ones put on and uh i already started on this side here I, 
all the wiring got yanked out when the mirror got pulled off. I had this all taped up just out of the way for now. Or I'll, so I could work, I guess I should say. And uh, got all the tape off of it. And now we're just going to pull these bolts out of the top. And this will all come off in one shot. And uh, then we'll have to get inside here and put something on the other end of this. Pull it through, put a uh, piece of string or something on it so that we can pull the new wires down through. So um, I think I'm going to also have to pull the air cleaner top and this mirror cap, which just actually holds the mirror to the truck, or the mirror arm to the truck. So uh, I know when I changed them out originally because the truck came with these and this style and I went to the aero style, uh, mainly because you don't get any spray up the back side. Well, them birds are noisy. Blue Jays, they've been hanging out, pooping on all my vehicles. In fact, you can see it on the top of this is truck and life charger there. But anyway, um, that's what I had to do when I changed them out last time. So I'm going to get on pulling this apart. All right, got the mirror pulled off. Of course, I did it all in one piece with the antenna. I got the uh, air cleaner cap pulled off and got the little base cover pulled off and I got this panel pulled out this is the ignition panel um, for anybody that's looking to do 389 or aero mirrors same process uh, because the aero mirrors come with the bar already in them as you can see on that one out there they come with the bar already in them so everything is just one bit one one shot here so um you uh i'm going to to go back um <clears throat> pull this panel off find your wiring for your if you have electric mirrors which i suggest that if you don't have electric mirrors don't do this uh my truck actually was specced with dual power mirrors both sides which is kind of weird because like i don't have power locks and stuff but anyway um the way i do this is if you have power mirrors you'll have power have a you know power wires coming in and it's plugged in where it needs to be so what i'll do is i'll unplug these and then i'll tape a string to these wires and i'll just pull them backwards out and then the string will come out and then i'll use the string to uh pull the new wires back in mrs truck and life i'm pretty sure just came out to tell me lunch is ready but uh anyway pretty easy installation um comes pre-wired like i said i'll show you that when i go to put it on uh but i wanted to get everything torn apart on this side here before I move forward sorry I'm sweating so I'm a little bit itchy but uh, yeah um, I'm going to get these unplugged I gotta go in and get some twine I use uh, hemp string because we just happen to have some of it here we have a big roll of it so that's usually what I use to tape these and I just tape it together so that they'll all fit out the uh, yeah Pepsi um, I tape it all together as a little fit back out the hole so um, it was pretty easy when I did these the first time but I've ran a couple wires down through there since then and I think I'm actually gonna replace my CB coax while I'm at it so I might just cut that and pull it out also and that'll kind of make things easier get all these wires out but anyway uh i guess i'm gonna go eat lunch now and uh then i'll get this done after lunch all right got both mirrors pulled off actually a while ago and uh ran to the truck stop ta to be exact because i have a bunch of rewards points and i bought some new antennas and which i like the wilson 2000s with the white cans for obvious reasons um i also get my own coax now i only run 
one antenna. The driver's side one is my working antenna. And my working CB antenna and the passenger side is my FM antenna. So two separate coaxes. Now I already went through the process of changing this, but I figured uh, on the driver's side mirror, <coughs> I figured I would show you guys what it looks like. The flies were killing me, so I got this, uh, I don't know, it's supposed to deter mosquitoes up to 15 feet, but I wanted to see if it would work on flies and stuff too. But anyway, I already got this driver's side. As you can see, it comes with this style of coax, with this style of plug, which uh, if your truck has it, it'll hook up inside the dash straight to the splitter box, but mine does not have it, so, and I like to run my own coax, so I took this mirror all apart the hard way, and uh, switched out the coax. Now, I figured out how to get this mirror face off as I was putting it all back together, um, and this lower mirror as you can see is heated as are both of these mirrors are heated but uh, I forgot and I didn't take a picture I forgot which plug goes on where so I'm going to not cut this is the outside air temperature sensor right here on the driver's side so I'm going to go ahead and pull this one apart and see which plug goes where on that one and then I will show you how to get this mirror face off of here in case you're interested in putting these mirrors on and you want to run your own coax because it's kind of a pain in the butt because it's down inside there but I'll show you more of that after I get this unwrapped and uncovered all right so got the plastic wrap off got these six screws right around the outside edge there's my ugly ass and gotta pull them six screws out so that we can get to the stuff that's in behind here and this CD mount. All right, got the screws out, pull this cover off, flip it over, and as you can see, same colors. So the red and yellow green go towards the top or the West Coast mirror, and the white and black go, okay then, off my lap. Sorry, I know there's a bunch of jiggle in there, but I'm trying to hold a camera and do this at the same time. So, let me set this back out of the way. And, yeah, okay. So I had it right. Well, I thought I was right. That one's in there. Right there. These ones are the same. So I'm going to finish putting this one back together. And then I'll tear that one apart. All right, there's my fat belly. And maybe if I can get the camera to focus on it. Oh, it's driving me crazy. There's a little tab right here you got to push down on. And twist. I don't remember which way to twist. Anyway, let me get both my hands working here on this. And like I said, you twist it. Let's see if we can use this wrench to push it down. And all right, so I did it off camera. But I figured I would show you where I was messing up. It's this tab that has to push. I mean that here just pops right off. So as you can see, you got a couple wires on the back of it. This is the heating element, and we're just going to set it up out of the way for right now. And you got all of this. This is your antenna mount, and they got it zip tied. The uh, coax zip tied up through here, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole antenna mount off so that I can just take it all apart and get it out of the way along with the coax. This piece right here tends to be a pain in the ass because you got to kind of rotate it and then pull one side out and then rotate it back to get it to come out. Um, I think it's meant to just be pushed in because that's how they go back together pretty easily but you got to rotate it to get it to come out of there so um, I'm going to do all of that and then I'll be back with you. All right so it took some dicking around to get this to open up to let this out and but there it is. Now I got to take a wrench to this part of it and get this nut I guess you would call it antenna nut off of there and then I'll have to put a wrench on this part to get it to unscrew because this washer that they put in here holds it in there pretty good so I'll have to get that taken apart and as you can see this wire come out oh yeah and I'm at the table because it decided to start raining on me out there so uh, I had to scoop everything up and get inside so my tools didn't get all wet but anyway there you go I'm going to get this taken apart and get ready to put the new coax on it and then I'll put it back right here so all right so got it apart got my antenna mount that I bought at the truck stop and my coax now this coax comes with this stupid rubber protector thing on there I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to whack it off right here I'm going to cut all this rubber off of here so that I can screw it on there without having to try and grip it and what have you because it's inside this housing so it's going to be protected pretty much anyway I know they do that for like rust and stuff but it's one of the most biggest pain in the ass things they ever came up with as far as CB coax is concerned I also buy the coax that does not have the end on the other end yet because it makes it easy to fish through the mirror arms because I prefer to have it through the mirror arms but I'm going to get a razor knife and cut this and get it put on here and get this put on here and then this put on there so I'll be back with you in a minute all right got it all put back together mounts back in as you can see switch the mount out Zip tie the coax in, zip tie the wires in, got this thing put back together. Now, when you put this back together, it goes back together pretty easy compared to coming out. <clears throat> I had a hard time getting this one to come out, but like I said, you just pry up on it and then you rotate it this way and it pulls this piece up out. But when you put it back together, you can put it together outside the hole and then push it back through and it will push through. So, we're ready to put the mirror back on and then go outside in the what was the rain it's overexposed but go get the other one the spot mirror and get this thing all put back together and they'll be ready to go on all right got mo both mirrors put back together got the passenger side mirror up there um these are kind of a pain in the butt i'm 6'3 but i so i'm able to hold this up and get a bolt up through there but you might want to have somebody help you do that or at least use a ladder but once you get the bottom one through the top one's fairly easy but uh, I keep it swung away so that I can deal with this fishing hole right here and as you can see this is where the old wire starts and this is where the new wire starts I have this all taped together in hopes of the fact that it will fish all I'll have to do is pull the old wire out and pull the new wire through but it takes two hands so I don't know exactly how I'm going to record me doing this but I don't know if this will give me a view here and eh, probably not but it might so we'll we'll give it a shot and 
down goes the GoPro. So I don't know how I'm going to record that, but basically you want to feed it through with this hand and pull down here on the part you're pulling out. So uh, the feeding it through helps keep it from getting caught and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. See if we can get all this new wire fed down through at least to here. And then these boots actually go about a foot into the cab. So you got to feed it through that also. But for right now, we're just going to worry about trying to get it through this arm. And there you go. It came through pretty easy. So well, go ahead and push down some more. Let's see, I'm just pushing up at the top and that pushed all that down. So, but you don't want to untape it yet because now you got to feed it through there. So I'm going to back feed all this through there and then push this through and then I'll have to pull my glove box out. Probably won't be able to see it through the window, but uh, pull my glove box out and feed all that through and then change out the wires. Uh, but first I'm going to go eat some dinner and not get hit by this car coming up my road. So I'm going to go eat some dinner and uh, then I'll probably work on this some afterwards. <sighs> All right, got the driver's side mounted and got everything fed through the bar. So now we're just going to start feeding it into the cab of the truck. <clears throat> what we're going to have to do is pull on the inside and feed it through the outside at the same time. Notice how I have everything draped on the air cleaner so that it doesn't get stuck down between the door and the air cleaner. So I'm gonna start pulling this through. See if we can see some movement there. Here, see you can see it move just a little bit. I'm gonna really gotta get my hand in there and, and uh, at the edge of the sleeve and pull it through so that it doesn't pull on other stuff and break it. So, I'm going to do that. I'll be back with you here in a minute. Alright, got everything fed through. I don't know what I'm going to do about this camera. I kind of have to zip tie it up or maybe tie it up again. Bugs me that I'm going to have to do that, but it is what it is. Um, got all the cord pulled through I'm actually probably gonna move my CB radio so I'm not running this coax just yet got the wires hooked up and uh, we have power now it is worth mentioning that these mirrors are left down upright, but there's only three input wires, well, excuse me, yeah, three input wires to the mirror. And I can't figure out what the sequence is to get them hooked up to where they'll do that. I've put a new switch in, I've done everything, so I just wire them. Noisy ass crow. Um, I just wire them so they go left and right, and then I set the vertical and just leave it there. So, uh, yeah, just figured I'd mention that. Um, I don't know if it's something in the wiring of my truck, because it didn't originally come with those mirrors or what, but near as I can tell, there's only three wires, no matter which way you put it. So I can't figure out what, what wire needs to go in where to, sorry, that's really bright, uh, to be able to get all four functions out of it. Because one wire is, the white wire is right and down. And then you got left and you got up. But no matter where I plug those wires at, I never get the up and down and left and right. It's always one or the other. I get up and down or I get left and right. Or sometimes, depending upon where it's at, it'll, it'll, go left and down at the same time or right and down at the same time so I, I don't know it's got me baffled but uh um yeah driver's side's on there now we gotta work on the passenger side as you can see the 
humidity here in Pennsylvania is kicking my ass. So um, I might call it a day because the sun is beating directly on me as it sets behind me at 710. So um, I might just trudge through it, get the other one done. And I'll walk around here. You see over here out of the, the sunlight, it's not that bad. So, um, got to get the rest of this pulled through, which that's, that's not hard really. It does take two hands though. Well, maybe not. Might be able to get fed through. But, uh, and I'm going to have to pull this bolt out and move this wire because I allowed it to true wrap around as I was putting it down through. But, uh, and then we got to get it fed in there and I will have to unlock this door um, and get my glove box taken out to be able to do that. So. All right guys, next day here. Uh, trying to get started on this. It was supposed to start raining this afternoon. So, uh, like I said yesterday, got uh, everything pulled through the arm. Just got to get the glove box pulled out of there and get it pulled through into the truck. So I'm going to get to start getting that glove box pulled out of there and get this thing going. All right, got everything ran, everything put back together. I ended up having to pull this panel out. That's where the plugs for the mirror power is. So um, my GPS cord, I just have ran up and over the dash yet because I haven't pulled this dash out to run it up through the hole that I have and hide everything. And I'm uh, not completely set on its location. So uh, just plugged it back in. Of course, here, I'll just show you this. This cover. This one pops off in a 379, and this is where your um, interior air filter is. Cabin air filter, that's what I was trying to say. Cabin air filter is, is right there. But it's also where my plugs are for my uh, power mirrors. Which, all that stuff's supposed to be tucked up in here, but it is covered by this is due for some repaint but you know six years after the custom work was done so now I just got to get this camera tightened back down and get the cover put back on here I set these on last night just because I wasn't sure if it was gonna rain or not and I didn't want it actually rained on them yesterday but I didn't want to get any more water in there than need be there is a drain plug in the bottom so not a huge deal but uh, still Set them on there, so I gotta take this off, just pick it up off of there, put the cover back on, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Oh, and I got to uh, get the antenna masts cut and get the antennas on there over on the porch. All right, there, all buttoned up. Mirror cap back on, the air cleaner cast back on, got the camera tightened down, just gotta get that mast. Got the antenna mast and get the antenna thrown on. So, uh, there it is. I know a lot of people don't like these mirrors, but I do like the way they look. I like that they go with the Bel Air theme, you know, chrome mirrors, I have it, but also because of this lip right here, you don't get the blow up up the back of them. So, that's why I run them. But anyway, I'm gonna grab that antenna, get the mast cut and uh, get it thrown on. All right guys, I'm cutting these whips and uh, I figured I'd show you what I mean by cutting them. As you can see, maybe you can see, this one is fresh out of the packaging and the other one is the one off of the passenger side. And you can see how far I have to cut them down to get my SWRs right. Um, if you're not a CB radio person, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the brief scenario, brief explanation is SWRs, if they're too high, they'll blow your radio up. And I'm not a CB radio person. I just like it to have it to communicate with other drivers. So um, I also 
figured I would mention that when I buy these Wilson 2000s, they come with this longer mast, and I put the short mast on them because, again, helps with my SWRs. I can get a longer whip out of it then. So, uh, my CB radio guy told me yesterday when I went to go those that it's actually not good to have them mounted on the mirrors on a truck with the stacks in the front of the sleeper because when the whip bends back you get deflection off the stacks so but I am more of an aesthetic person when it comes to this thing uh, I want it to look a very specific way I like my white cans and this one was a temporary one for that mount i think it's got a full length whip on it and i will be keeping it as a spare but since new mirrors new antennas plus i used my rewards points to buy them so it technically didn't cost me anything but uh anyway i figured i'd mention all of that stuff and uh i use a cordless grinder cutoff wheel i guess Technically, it's a cutoff wheel, but on a grinder to cut them. So I'm going to measure this up and whack it off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there she is. New mirrors, new antennas, and I actually managed to get something figured out, some redneck engineering figured out for this. Normally there's a piece that goes here with two hose clamps to hold it on. I just drilled a couple holes in it and used a couple zip ties. That'll hold it on for now anyway. And uh, I had to put a couple pieces of tape around the bar to keep it from wanting to turn on the bar. But so, hope it holds it anyway. But new antennas, new mirrors, and everything put back together. And then we're ready to rock and roll. Um, I don't have the antennas hooked up yet because I got some work to do in there. I gotta figure out where I want to put my CB radio at. I think I'm gonna put it down here on the floor right behind the stick. And then at some point in time, that thing there will go up there. I think. I think that's gonna be the plan. So, um, in the meantime, I might, might do that before I leave, but... Uh, just because I like having a CB radio. So, anyway, all that being said, wrap up this video here. Uh, keep a shiny side up, safe travels. See you in the next one.